the following video is a recap of Entei Raid Day, Mudkip Community Day, and my search for Armored Mewtwo. Even though I did catch two Armored Mewtwo in Wildwood, I didn't have my camera with me when I did my first Armored Mewtwo raid, so I was able to do one during Mudkip Community Day. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci is your host. In this video, I was able to catch Armored Mewtwo, as well as two more shiny Pokemon during my trip to Wildwood, along with my first Gibble, shiny Entei during Entei Raid Day, and six shiny Mudkip during Mudkip Community Day. On the last day of my trip to Wildwood, I was able to catch a Gibble. And then later on at night, I was able to catch two shinies, my third Cubone, and then another Clam Pearl. Today, I finally caught my first Gibble on the Wildwoods Boardwalk. It was great to finally look for this rare and sought after Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Hopefully, I will find more until I get the complete set. To close out my trip to Wildwood, Tonight, I just caught two shinies. First, my third shiny Cubone, and moments ago, another shiny Clam Pearl. The first since the Clam Pearl Research Day. As you are going to see here, it took me three raids to get a shiny Entei, which of course was lit. And of course, as a result of that, I was able to unlock an EX Raid Pass for my first Deoxys speed form raid, which you will see in the video after this one. It took me until my third raid to get the shiny Entei, as you see here. And of course, I only caught one non-shiny Entei during this event. And of course, any other non-shinies fled from me, but the shiny Entei was the jewel that made my day and of course it unlocked the EX Raid Pass for Deoxys Speed Form which will be coming up in episode 41 of this series so stay tuned for that everyone.
I have finally done it. I finally got my first shiny Entei. I am continuing to raid with my friends over here as we continue the shiny hunt. Mudkip Community Day was lit. I was finally able to get a shiny after at least 20 to 30 minutes of not having no shiny luck. It took me 20 to 30 minutes until I got my first shiny mudkip. It was very hot the day I filmed this. If you're wondering why, you're gonna see me with a wet towel around my neck at the end, that is why. And of course, I had to take precautions and breaks in between during the making of this video. And luckily I was able to meet up with my friends such as Elmo, David, and the rest of the gang and was able to catch my first shiny in Elmo's car. And I will never forget when I finally caught that shiny. I thought I wasn't gonna catch anything. I was just having a bit of a shiny drop at that moment. As you see here, I thought I'd properly film an Armored Mewtwo raid because of the fact when I was in Wildwood, when I did my first two Armored Mewtwo raids, I didn't have my camera with me at the time. But because I was able to film Community Day, I thought I'd fit this one in near the end of the video. Although I did do two Armored Mewtwo raids in Wildwood, I thought I would record an Armored Mewtwo raid here during Mudkip Community Day and of course it was lit. Me and my friends over here we had a blast defeating it and in the end I did catch it as you will see at the end of this clip.
Well, I've caught six shiny mudkip, but if I catch any more, I'll be sure to let you know. In the meantime, this is Lewis signing out and saying thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!